So hi, my name is Valerie Labby and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Wahoo Mobility. So at Wahoo, we design and manufacture electric vehicles. Um, I would say smart electric vehicles because those electric vehicles are connected to our software platform, which allows us to make it easy for people to have electric vehicles in Ghana and African markets and then basically be supported to use them over their life cycle. We started with our core user, that's delivery riders. Um, they're the heart of everything that we do and um, just understanding their journey, understanding their day um, and really designing a vehicle that suits them. So that, And then from there, understanding what their other pain points were because if you're a delivery rider, you're typically not banked. So how do you pay for the vehicle over time? What could we do to support that? Um, you also want to be able to access other services, insurance, where do you go for maintenance? And that's where we realized that the vehicle itself wasn't enough. So we added the software platform as a connector to different services for the EV user. Ghana means so many things to so many people, but we also need to be positioning ourselves so people really understand that there are really good innovations here that are scalable and that are investable and that are going to create jobs for brilliant young people. And I think that tech in Ghana is really that, that, that gateway for so many people to see Ghana in, in the right light. So Kumasi means a lot to me. Kumasi has been like intertwined in everything in my life. I say probably starting from my mother. So my mom's from Offense, so I'm an Ashanti. Um, I lived in Kumasi five years when building my first business in Ghana. Um, and I think Kumasi is just a place that's is great for entrepreneurship. It's, you know, we've got the biggest market and it's a place where you also see a lot of women in leadership. And I think that coming from that kind of space and that environment has also been, you know, instrumental in me not being scared to take on challenges. Um, so I think the other thing for us as a business is obviously we've been very Accra focused um, and the next stage for us is to grow into Kumasi um, and then further north other cities in, in, in the country. So I'm excited for Tech in Ghana to be there. I think that there's a lot of innovation that happens in Kumasi. I think there are a lot of really interesting entrepreneurs and what we now need to start doing is, is having a bridge connecting what is happening in Accra, what's happening in Kumasi and other cities so that our ecosystem for innovation and entrepreneurship when you say Ghana is really Ghana. Oh.